¿Qué onda Giles? ¿Cómo andan? Bienvenidos a un nuevo video, la parte número 7 de Walking Dead, casi me olvido. Y bueno, la última parte, la parte número 6, le tuvimos que dar de comer a la gente, tuvimos que elegir. No es un job, ¿es? Y bueno, acá vamos a seguir con la historia. Espero que les esté gustando la serie. Esto ya lo vimos. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some Esto ya lo vimos, perdón, pero es que es donde You're se guardó out. el juego. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this and your days perdón, in this Es un minutito nomás que ya vimos, pero You want to talk, old man. Yeah, well I don't see you working on that wall. Bueno, ahora ahora sí, ya está. Ahora ya esto ya lo vimos. Así que vamos a seguir. Ken, Lee, come here, please. ¿Qué pasó? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. No. What about the other kid? Se trabó. Ah! Shit, shit. Maldito zombie, aléjate. Ay. Qué pecho frío. ¡Ja! Reimpactado, negro. ¡Soltame! ¡Asqueroso! ¡Sas acá! ¡Salí de ahí! ¡Dale con el hacha, vos! ¡Salame! ¡Viejo pelotudo! ¡Ay, se cayó! Me encanta cómo nadie viene a ayudar. ¡Eh! Me podrían haber ayudado antes, ¿no? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Pensé que me iba a pegar un hachazo. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Se fue toda la verga. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles away. Yeah, leche. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. <laughs> Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Dale, mandame a mí. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Si digo que no, supongo que iremos igual, así que voy a decir que no. I think we'll stay here. 
We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? <laughs> well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Ooh. Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For Dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm <laughs> They're offering Todos. food. We gotta at least check it out. Clementine, what do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. All right, looks like we're going to a dairy. Tiene una, tiene una camiseta ahora Clementine en las mangas. La, me cago en la mierda esta que so me sale siempre, boludo. You guys really have food? Perdón. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, bueno. we got plenty of food. Eh. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Sure, leader, obvio, papá. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Ay, no sé qué pregunto. Del pasado, creo. Mejor así. Clementine un accidente. <laughs> you know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I move around a lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? <laughs> I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. <laughs> yeah. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food. Una vaca. Quite frankly, we could always use a vaca, el gordo. hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, che, that's great. Pesado el, helps. Este episodio. Me refiero a buen contenido. Pesó con todo, eh. Now it's you think you're going to cut me out of this? Y... Mira, ya, lo digo y ya, ya pasa algo. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry! And you guys were keeping it up There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Okay. Fuck you! Oh! Pegale un tiro, okay? Puto pum hecha a la verga se mamó güey la nueva adquisición eh, eh un día soleado qué lindo me hace acordar a mi barrio el Villaro Club papá Saint John Family Day Barrio de las Quintas, para los que son de Rafael y conocen. Can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. 
<laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Sí, seguramente. Un saludo para Santi Rostagno que ganó la encuesta de mi canal en Instagram. <laughs> Era para el video anterior, pero bueno. Um... This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company come <laughs> down abuela. the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, I've got things under control. <laughs> well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? <laughs> What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. <laughs> Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice. Un asado, sale ese asado, loco. Esa barbecue, como le dicen acá. Gordo, ¿qué onda ese pinito? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Chica sexy. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you away. take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Ale. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. Mm, no sé, muy... so how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as their tents. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Bueno, hablan tanto, están hablando tanto en este, no solo capítulo, episodio, que, que no puedo hacer, no puedo comentar mucho. Eh, bueno, tenemos que chequear que el lugar está todo perfecto. Qué divertido. A la parte del juego que no me divierte tanto eh, bueno ahí está el gordo con la gasolina a ella le gusta la gasolina epa como esta no 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 mal piensan muy bien negro ingeniero bueno, espero que apoyen la serie porque me gasté unos cuantos dólares para que la puedan ver y yo la puedo jugar. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yeah, negro. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Habla sola. A ver, gordo, ¿qué es? ¿Qué nos contamos? Andy. Es el de Toy Story y bien viejo. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? 
We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Me imagino el gordo prendiendo la, la cerca eléctrica cuando la estamos arreglando y nos morimos ahí al toque. 4000 voltios digo que tenía, boludo. Tremendo. Eh, ah, qué serie, papá, eh. Pone, pone tu like. Yo sé que lo quieres poner. De, anda, déjalo. Comenta esta serie es tremenda. El rebo sabe cómo jugar. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing. Bueno, según mis instintos, eh, siempre pasa que lombo cada 15 minutos. Así que en un rato seguro pasa algo bien feo. Sorry, man, it just it popped out. Ea, perro. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Ay, qué rico. There's one. El cuervo zombie. Se cortó la cámara, la puta madre, boludo. Ugh. Gente, mil disculpas, estoy hasta los huevos que se me corte la cámara. Pero bueno, no sé, yo ya no puedo manejar todo ese tema de la computadora. Es eh. lo que hace la compu, no yo, así. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Ah. Eh, me quedo la flecha primero, obviamente. La podemos usar. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Qué lindo zombie. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Bueno, deja de hablar del. Eh... Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty no, well. Sir. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is going to fall apart, just like everyone else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Eso. Allá en un rato termina el video. Te <risa> facha las manos colgando. You never get used to the smell, do you? <risa> nope. 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 Christ. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Peanut butter, baby. Thanks for the rest. No it's eh? not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> yeah. Cuidadito. Cuidadito. 
Little help here, Lee. Y ahora nos quedamos fuera. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are all. Lo dije antes. Why the turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Uh! 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 ¿Qué pasó? Le pegaron un flechazo acá. Pero bueno, no hay más tiempo de video, así que si quieres ver lo que va a pasar, vas a tener que ir a ver el próximo video. ¿Viste cómo juego con, con... qué inteligente que soy? ¿Viste? Hay, hay que saber cuándo cortar el video. Así que acá te dejo los videos en pantalla, eh, más o menos, no sé dónde van a estar por ahí, por ahí cerca, de la parte anterior y la parte que sigue. Así que espero que te haya gustado el video. Voy a seguir subiendo esta serie muy seguido y eso es todo. Nos vemos en la próxima. Chau.